Hi everybody, I'm John Bertles from Bash the Trash, back again with another strange musical instrument. Uh, today we're looking at trumpet tubes. Uh, we're going to build several different versions. Bash the Trash builds these kinds of things using trumpet tubes that are not too trashy. That is kind of important because you have to put these things up to your lips. So you have to be a little certain about where these things come from. The most important thing about a brass instrument is that you have to buzz your lips. All you're really doing is making your lips tight and pushing air out, just like this. <laughs> Singing <laughs> never works in a horn. So really make sure that you're just pushing air. Now, one way to do that is to puff a bunch of air in your cheeks and go like this. And that sort of feel, except you're trying to sustain it because that's what's creating the vibration. You're going to extend that vibrating air column. Use a cardboard tube like this. I'm going to put my lips inside and just buzz. The next step is to create the bell or the cone that causes it to get louder. We start by presetting two pieces of duct tape, a file folder, and typically we like to use a used file folder. I'm going to start on one corner here and I'm going to roll it around like this. So I'm going kind of in a semicircle, as you can see. You take the tube, put it inside like that, and then you sort of slide it through. And you can see what's happening at the end is that the end is starting to come out like that. Lay your first piece of duct tape right across the fold there, and that will hold the cone shape. Now, what you've done is you've created a cone shape on the end of a tube. However, all the sound energy is coming out from there, not anywhere along here. So you want to make that cone coming out there so it's really maintaining all that energy in one cone like this. So putting it out like that, and I'm going to put it right to the very end right to the very end inside there so I can just right there okay get my other piece of longer duct tape wrap it around and now it should be louder another way to do this is to take a plastic bottle and cut off the end this does require using a uh, some kind of a knife so you got to be really really careful with this kind of a thing um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut off the bottom of the bottle being very cautious because I know this is a pretty sharp knife. Go all the way around. And by the way, these uh, bottom part here, uh, if you get two of these, you can make a cool shaker. Plus, you can also wrap a rubber band around and it makes like a little mini guitar. That's kind of cool. But And then I'll, this one here, I can put right into the end of my tube. And sometimes it'll fit and sometimes I'll need to use a duct tape. So a little bit of duct tape on the end. And this is the bottle trumpet. That's a good sound. Now, sometimes these kinds of skinny tubes are hard to find, and most of the time the thing you're gonna find is something like this. Now, we find that these are really not the best kind of tubes to be using, but you can still get a decent sound from them. They just sort of sound a little bit sort of janky when you play them without the bell. <coughs> you're really just sort of making that sound with your lips there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the bottom of the bottle here, and notice that I'm using quite a bit of a larger bottle. That looks pretty tight. Okay, and three different kinds of trumpet tubes.